All right, what do you figure? We need to take some measurements, figure out where the cab's got to sit, figure out what we got to do to make up some mounts. Maybe we got to find some fenders to put on this thing. <coughs> this magnificent truck. <coughs> yeah? Where do you think we got to measure first? <coughs> All right, man, let's go. Let's go make a picture, and then we'll take some measurements. Oh, you're probably gonna make me measure by myself, aren't you? Oh, all right, we're out of here. I can think of three ways to do it. First way, we could just mount the fenders on the truck, line it up by eye, get it close, right? Second way, we can head outside with a tape measure, make our measurements, compare them against the original frame of the square body cap, and then figure it out from there. Mind you, it would be kind of hard to find the center line in the front axle. That's always a pain. Number three, I got a better idea. Hey Google, show me the frame specs for a GMT 800 and a 1985 GMC square body. I actually did Google these and found them pretty quick and they have everything we need to mount this cab so let's just put these up here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, is write down our frame measurements from center line of the front axle, the original cab mounts, from center axle to square body cab mounts, and then for the rear, square body cab mounts. Now my plan here is to fill in all these measurements, this being the center line, then we'll be able to figure out where everything belongs in reference to the original front cab mounts. So we'll draw, we'll draw a line on the frame rail at those mounts, measure off of it to get our two points for our new cross member in the back and our two front plates. And according to our measurements, everything should be perfectly centered in the wheel well. Okay, so let's get these measurements filled in. I don't know about you, but I think this is looking pretty good. Of course, we'll want to get everything out there and mocked up. So, to figure out our measurement between here and here, pretty easy. 71.5 minus 27.80, inches. So that's our goal, that's our one right there. So that's the measurement we're gonna to use to go from the original mount center line to the back cab mount and the axle center line should be right in the center of our wheel well. I guess we'll do a little quick rough sketch of the cross member itself. We are gonna build this. It's gonna come down like that, down like that. Maybe I should use my ruler. You get the idea. So this height from the frame rail to here needs to be eight inches. Then all we need is the inside measurement of the frame rail. We fill it in there. We can draw this out on some uh, flat steel. Cut it out with the plasma. We're gonna cut two pieces out exactly the same, put them side by side, and then we're gonna plate them in on top with one piece here and then obviously on the sides, and then probably one on the inside just to make it a little bit stronger. Let's take what we got here, go cut some steel. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Go measure our frame. Aha! All right, let's see here. 41 and a quarter. And the frame rail's three inches wide. Three inches wide. That means it's 38. Oh, now we got a measure can. Thirty-eight and a quarter. Thirty-eight and a quarter. Thirty-eight and a quarter. All right, sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna get everything traced out on here. According to what we drew up.
guide. I'm just slapping them up here a little bit. But like, come on, use a guide. If you don't use a guide, your well, your cut's going to be about as crooked as the way Justin Trudeau runs this country. So just use a guide. Okay, Jacob, what are we going to do next? Mock up the pieces. Alrighty, let's take one and go mock it up. You going to bring that light? Yep. No, just leave that. Just bring the light. We only need one. You okay? Yep. Okay, let's go. Can you shine the light over there? Right under there? Alright, so we're inside of the frame rail there. Then over there, we're inside of the frame rail, but there's a brake line in my way, but it will go. And to give it kind of a little reference of what we're gonna do, it's gonna go like this. Right? I'm not even holding it. <laughs> no, you're doing good. Good job, man. I put it side down. Good. All right. So it looks like he's good. So once we box it in, get it under there. And then you think we're gonna get the truck off the frame or off the trailer this weekend? Yeah. Wait, come on back in, buddy. Come on back in, buddy. So this video is getting a little long, so we're gonna cut it into a two-part thing. So when we get back here, we're gonna get our four-inch wide flat bar, and we're gonna box it in on the cross member. We're gonna get it all tacked together. Get it out on the frame, make sure it looks good. We're going to tack it in place on there. Then we're going to put some kind of temporary bolts through so we can get the frame and the truck off of the trailer. That's right. And uh, 
yeah, then we can start getting in the garage and we'll pull that engine out. And I got the transmission in the back of the short box. We're going to get it all into the truck and... All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the hugs. Okay, what do you say?